Hello, and welcome back to Nova Kid Labs. It's winter now. The weather is getting colder, and it's finally snowing outside. Winter is my favorite season because I love making snowmen and having snowball fights with my family. Don't worry if you haven't got snow where you live. Today's experiments can be done with items I'm sure you already have at home. Let's get started. I love fishing. It's so much fun and you never know what you're going to catch. But what if you don't live near the water? Don't worry, you can go fishing for ice at home. You will need a glass with some ice and water, some salt, and a piece of string. You can also use some food coloring if you'd like. Our goal is to lift the ice cube out of the glass without touching the ice with our hands. What if we use our magic powder? I mean salt. Sprinkle some salt on the ice and watch what happens. The salt melts the ice. Hmm. I wonder if we can use salt and the string to lift the ice. Put your string on the ice and sprinkle the salt on top. Now, let's wait 60 seconds. Carefully pick up the string. And, oh, wow! We've just gone ice fishing at home. This is so cool. I love snowflakes. They are so unique and each one is different. I wish there was a way to make snowflakes at home. Hmm. Oh, I think I have the perfect experiment for that. Let's gather our materials. We will need borax, a large jar with very hot or boiling water, a piece of string, a pipe cleaner, and a pencil. First, take your pipe cleaner and twist them together to form a snowflake. Remember, every snowflake is unique, so you can get creative here. Next, tie your string around your snowflake, like this. and tie your string to the pencil. It should look something like this. Next, find a jar that's big enough to fit your snowflake. You don't want your snowflake to touch the sides of the jar. Remember, we must always be very careful when using boiling water. Put your boiling water into your jar and add five scoops of borax. One, two, three, four, five. Stir, stir, stir until it's all dissolved. Once your borax has disappeared, hang your snowflake in your jar and leave it overnight. Good morning, it's the next day. Let's check our snowflake. Carefully take out your snowflake using the pencil and wow, look how cool it is. It looks just like a real snowflake. Some people like pizza, others like cake. My favorite food is ice cream, but I haven't got any in my freezer at home. 
I wonder if we can make some today. Do you want to try with me? To make ice cream, you will need half a cup of milk, half a cup of heavy cream, two scoops of sugar, some vanilla, a lot of ice, and some salt. You will also need two plastic bags, one big and one small. Look, I have all our ingredients here. Let's get started. First, take your small resealable bag and mix in half a cup of milk and half a cup of heavy cream. Add two scoops of sugar. And a little bit of vanilla. Use your hands on the outside of the bag to mix everything together. Then close your bag and try to remove the excess air. Next, fill your large plastic bag with ice. Place your salt on top like this. Remember, the salt will help melt the ice. Place your small bag inside your large bag and close the bag. Now it's time to shake. Shake your bag for about 10 minutes. Let's shake. Look, it's ready. You can add different toppings if you like. But I can't wait. Take your spoon and dig in. Mmm, that's delicious. Don't forget to share with your family, especially if they helped you shake the bag. Did you enjoy today's experiments? Which one was your favorite? I liked them all but my favorite was definitely the ice cream. Mmm. I'm going to make more ice cream now to share with my family. See you next time, my little scientists.